What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord Dadgs tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be going over everything that has to do with muting. Muting is one of those systems that every single administration bot pretty much requires. And since the last couple episodes we've been going over administration, it kind of fits in that we're getting into muting in today's video. So if you're new here, this is a YouTube channel where we pretty much create a Discord bot. So if you are into that, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below for any kind of suggestions for upcoming videos as I do look at the comments for inspiration. If you have never coded a Discord bot before, make sure to check out the first three videos of this playlist. The first one teaches you how to set up your Discord bot. The second one teaches you about the basic command handler. And the third one teaches you about the advanced command handler. And we're going to be using the advanced command handler this video now before we start coding there's actually a couple of things that you have to do on your discord server now what you have to do is create two different roles first is your main role and second is your muted role so people pretty much exchange between the member role and the muted role so go ahead and go into your discord server click on server settings then click on roles and in here, I created two different roles. Now, I know a lot of people usually keep the everyone role. And once you start getting into creating a lot of Discord servers and a lot of Discord bots, you're going to realize that this everyone role has a lot of errors and it's prone to a lot of errors. So usually a lot of Discord servers have a specific role that every member gets added as soon as they join the server. So they don't use the everyone role. So I would suggest to disable everything in the everyone role and create your own special main role and in this main role you can pretty much customize it as much as you want the second role that you want to create is the mute role and this is the role that people will be assigned when they're muted and in here you can also customize this as much as you want but usually what you want to do is turn everything off except read text channels and see voice channels and read message history so they won't be able to join or do anything or interact with anything in the server except just see the messages which is pretty much a harsh mute later on this week i'm going to add a tutorial to the playlist about assigning a role once a member joins your discord server using your discord bot so when someone joins the discord server they'll be automatically assigned the new member role they just created so let's get started with the actual coding go ahead and launch your visual studio code and in here we're going to be using the advanced command handler so our first command is going to be the mute command so we're going to do else if command and we're going to equal that to a new command and we're going to do mute and in here we're just going to copy and paste this up here and we are going to create a file for our mute command and before we move on i'm going to format my document so everything looks nice so in our commands folder go ahead and create a new file and in here just name it mute.js and this will be our main command now i already did this in a previous video but what you basically want to do is you want to do this code right here which is just the module exports with the name description and the execute method so for our name we can just name this mute and description we can just do any description for this command so this mutes a member so what do we do to basically mute a member we want to basically exchange a member between the members role and the muted role so to do this we're going to be using a little bit of code that we used last time and that is we're going to get a target from some moderator that mentioned them through the command so to do this we're going to do const we're going to name this target target and it's going to equal to message that mentions that users that first so we're basically getting the first member that was mentioned through the command and to actually show you how the command's going to look like, it's going to look like this. It's going to be mute, and then we're going to be able to tag a member and then specify the amount of time that they're going to be muted for. So right now we are getting the first mentioned user, which will be this user right here, and that will be stored in this const. Next, we want to check that that member actually exists. So we're going to do if target target. And if the, the actual target does not exist, all we're going to do is we're going to do an else. And we're just going to send the moderator or whoever's typing the command that, hey, we couldn't find that user. So message that channel that send. And we want to send that moderator a special message. You can customize this message as much as you want. But we can do uh, can't find that member. 
and I'm still having troubles with typing. Not sure why. I think it's the current setup that I have with my mic. I really can't see my keyboard. All right. So now we want to get both roles into our code. So we're going to create two variables that holds both of our roles, our main role and our mute role. So let's do our main role first. So let main role, and this is going to equal to message dot guild that roles that cache that find. And here we are going to do kind of an arrow function. So we're going to call this role arrow function, and it's going to be role that name. And in here, we're going to do three equal signs. And then we're going to open this in single quotation marks. And here you have to type the specific name of the role that we ate it so make sure that you're going to type the exact same name even if it's capitalized so let's go to server settings and go into roles we named the member so it has to be exactly this name right here i'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it so we are making sure we're making sure that it, it actually is typed correctly and in here what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this exact same thing here and instead of our main role we're going to be doing the mute role and we named our mute role in our discord server mute so there we go now we have both our roles in our code. Now, what we want to do is right now we're getting the first mention, but we're not getting any information from the target that we mentioned in our command. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to create another variable that actually holds the information of the target that we are getting. So we're going to do let member target, and this is going to be equal to message that guild that members that cache that get and in here we're going to get our target const right here and we are going to get the id property so this is how we actually get the target from our discord server now what we actually want to do is we can actually do two methods we can do the time to mute or we can just do a regular mute so we're going to go over just doing a regular mute where you mute somebody and then you un unmute them after and then we're going to get into the advance where you time them out with a specific amount of time so for the manual mute what you want to do is simply do a exchange of roles and to do an exchange of roles all you have to do is we're going to get member target and we are going to first we are going to remove a role. So member target that roles that remove, and we're going to first remove the main role because that's the current role that they have. So we're going to do main role dot ID. So we're removing the main role. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this. And instead of removing, we're going to add and we're going to add the mute role. So member that target that roles that add mute role that ID. So just like that, with this command, you completely remove the main role and you added the mute role. And one final thing we're going to do is we're going to just basically message the admin or whatever that we were able to actually mute that person. So we're going to do message that channel that send and we're going to send them a message saying, um, hey, this person has been muted. So to actually get the tag of the person we're muting into a string, we're going to do a backtick, which is the key that is to the left of one. And in here, we are going to open this up with the last sign and then the greater sign and then we're going to do at with a money sign and we're going to open this up with the two brackets and in here we're just going to do member target dot user dot id and then we can continue with our string we can say has been you did and just like that our actual code works so if you go ahead and run our bot node space dot and then we go into our Discord server. I actually already have my dummy account here as well. Let's go ahead and mute our member here, our Lash Games. And I actually have this in a different browser. So as you can see, we're currently in the member role. If we go ahead and run this bot right here and we mute our dummy account and we go ahead and check out this right here, we have not been muted. There was an error. And that is we misspelled first. So there we go. That is how you spell first. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Sorry about that. As you can see, I'm having a lot of typos in the last couple videos. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. So mute at Alesh Games. And if we check this right here, we are no longer uh, have basically have permission to pretty much do anything. And we removed into the mute role. 
just like that. So now we have no way to basically add this person back to basically unmute them. So let me go ahead and go into our code and we're gonna create another command. And this command is gonna be the unmute command. So basically the same thing, we're going to main.js, we're gonna go into our command handler, else if command equals, I'm actually just gonna copy this to be honest, uh, just like this. I'm gonna copy this and it's gonna be unmute and then unmute. And we are gonna create a new command called unmute. So unmute.js. And we're pretty much gonna copy everything here from the mute.js file. We can change this to unmute if you want, and we can say this command unmutes a member. Now, the only thing that you have to change is you have to change the order of what you're removing and what you are adding. So for the unmute, you want to remove the mute role and you wanna add the main role back, just like this. So just change it here where you're basically exchanging the roles, change the remove to mute and change the add to main role. And here we can just say the user has been unmuted. And now if we go ahead and save all of our files and we go ahead and close everything and we run our bot one more time, you will see that we are actually able to do unmute and we tag ourselves. The user has been unmuted. And as you can see, we are back into the members role. And if you go here and check this out, you can see that we're able to type as much as we want. So to add a timer to a code, we actually have to import a new package from NPM. So go ahead and open up your terminal. And what you want to do is you want to import a new package by typing NPM install MS. And this is the package that we're going to be using to basically uh, keep track of our timers. So if we install that, there we go. What we have to do is in our mute file, we want to go all the way to the top and we want to basically import that MS. So we're gonna do const MS equals require MS. Just like that. So now we're able to use the MS package inside of this file. So there's actually a couple of things that we can do. We can pretty much delete this command and just make the mute command a timer, or we can have a hybrid. We can have the mute command be able to mute them without a timer and also be able to mute them with a timer. So to do this, all we want to do is check the arguments. If there is a second argument, that means they specified an amount of time. If there is no second argument, that means they just want to go ahead and mute them with a timer. So to do this all the way down here, we just want to do if the first argument does not exist or the second argument, just like this, we want to go ahead and copy and paste this code right here. So if they didn't specify the amount of time, we just want to go ahead and run all of our code here. And we might just want to do return. So we break out of all of these if statements. All right. So now that we have specified what happens when there's no second argument, we want to set a timer for the amount of time with that second argument. So to do this, we do set timeout. We open this up. This is a method. And in the method, we do another function to open the function up. And here we pretty much do the exact same thing, except in reverse. So let me go ahead and format this real quick. So remember that target the roles that remove, and we pretty much doing the same thing that we did in the unmute command. Instead of removing the main role, we want to remove the mute role. And instead of adding the main role, sorry, the mute role, we want to add the main role. So we're basically unmuting them in this timer right here. Now this is post production me. And there's one thing that I do want to let you guys know, and that is here in the set timeout function, I'm going to go ahead and remove the message that channel that send. So we don't send something that we shouldn't be sending. So it just should be member that targets the roles that add or remove. Don't send a message on this timer. Also, I will have all of the code in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. If you are finding yourself in a lot of trouble. And between the bracket and the parentheses, you want to have a little comma. And inside the comma, you just want to do MS and we want to pass in args one. So just like that, we were able to mute them. And then for a set amount of time, we unmute them. So that time has to be specified in the second arguments of the command. There's actually a couple of things that we can do to make this messenger right here a little bit better. 
and that is at the timer so people can see how long you basically muted them for so right here in the message that channel that send actually up here we want to go ahead and do four and in here we want to do exact same thing which is the money sign then brackets and inside the brackets we want to do ms and then open this up with parentheses and then do one more time ms with parentheses and in here we just do rx1 so just like this with all of this code i know it's a little bit repetitive but it definitely works and it's pretty much safe we want to go ahead and run our bot one more time so let's go ahead and clear and run our bot and we can see what's going to happen so we are going to get our dummy account who is currently a member and is not muted if we run the mute command without a timer we go ahead and mute ourselves we have been muted and there's a typo i could pretty much fix that real quick and that is right here been muted not be but muted there we go so it says that i've been muted but it's not a set amount of time if we go ahead and check our different account we are no longer able to do pretty much anything in any channel except just view the message history and we are in the muted role however again no timer so the only way to get unmuted if it's a admin who basically unmutes you so let's unmute ourselves unmute at a lesh games and we are back and we're able to start typing once again however let's add a timer let's say you are going to be muted for 10 seconds so we do mute lesh games which is the same command we just did and we're going to do 10s boom we have been muted for 10 seconds and we can check here we are muted and in about 10 seconds we're going to be unmuted so let's go ahead and wait boom 10 seconds are over you're back into a member and you can continue typing as much as you want and you can pretty much do these 10 seconds for as much as you want and we use the little s and the little m for seconds and minutes so we can do something like mute alesh games for one year if you want so one y however i'm gonna actually do one minute and we can see is we are currently unmuted for one minute just like that so this person can't type anything for one entire minute however if we actually check this we use the msnpn package you can actually come here i'll have this in the description below and you can check where you can type in your discord channel so you can type two days i wouldn't recommend two days because this adds an extra argument so you shouldn't type two days just basically simplify it by just doing 1d or 2d you can do hours years um so basically just do the abbreviation version of time so if you want to mute them for one year, don't type one year, just type one Y. So just like that, we added a mute system, a normal mute system with the mute and unmute, as well as a timed mute system where you can set an amount of time for a person to be muted. Again, we are muted for one more minute, so we really can't do anything for a whole minute. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't that long. I got to explain a lot of things, but if you want to get started with, you know, basically creating Discord bots, go ahead and follow this channel. Now, before I do let you go, I do want to give you a little bit of advice if you are going to be adding your Discord bots into multiple servers. First things first, this right here is getting it specifically for our server. So the roles, member and mutes, are your roles for your server if you're adding your bots to multiple servers usually people won't have the same role names as you do so you're gonna have to have some sort of config file or some database that tracks and basically uh, keeps track of all of the roles of that server and the admin of that server can specify which one is the main role and which one is the mute role also down here there's a little bit of error checking that you can do right here so if someone doesn't specify a time, but accidentally, you know, sets a message. So if we go ahead and do mute at a lesh games and we do some random letters instead of an actual timer, as you can see, it won't actually do anything. And if you go to code, we do get an error and this is actually very easy to fix. Just go ahead and just throw an error down here. But I didn't want to do this because that would get into a JavaScript tutorial in this video. So down here in the set timer, just go ahead and search online on how to throw a new error and basically uh, make this so you send a message on discord saying hey you know you have to specify the correct amount of time but for now that is all that i can give you for this video but i did give you some guidelines if you have some errors in this code now with that being said i will see you guys later on my next video peace